Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel, Albino Moonchild Tarot. Thank you so much for coming and supporting and watching your reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node Taurus. Mm, excuse me. So guys, these readings are general, and if you are wanting to look at a bigger picture, check out your the rest of your signs, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, okay? Um, before we get started here, if you are interested in t uh, popping in a donation for my upcoming tarot deck, please check out that description box below, and there's my services as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Here's Horace. First card out, the Empress. Taurus, this is your card. Turn it around, sit it down, okay? Empress, that is awesome sauce. So we have the Eight of Wands, and we have the Four of Cups, okay? Cool, cool. So underneath the Empress, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Oh my gosh, Taurus, this is beautiful. We have Judgment underneath the Eight of Wands, and we have Three of Pentacles underneath the Four of Cups. Bottom of the deck and the overall energy is Movement of Swords. So Taurus, you could be dealing with a Libra and another Taurus, a Sagittarius or a Pisces. Um, let's see what else do I see and uh, a po possibly an air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius Sun Moon rising or Venus okay so I feel like for you guys there is a choice that needs to be made um, it's not so much like a choice choice, but it's like something's about to happen otra vez, which means again, okay? So this time you get to either do it differently or do it again the way you did it and it'll just keep coming back. For others of you, I feel like judgment has pa been passed. So either you made a final decision, you made a judgment call, or you're being judgment called on, okay? Um... What I feel like this is in regard to is it could be in regards to love, in regards to work. Um, if you are in a relationship or want, you're, yeah, if you're in a relationship, I just feel like this is something that's going to turn into something beautiful. If this is in regards to work, you are at this like very impressive stage. Diplomatic wise, this is um, very positive. We have Venus here and we have Jupiter here. So Venus and Jupiter, if this is in regards to beauty, oh my gosh, we went from um, probably a five to a 10, all right? So this is like, get your flaw, you just like flawless, flawless, all right? Um, probably like a, a health regimen that you've been doing, boom, the wheel is turned, it's in your favor. Things are happening, blessings, a lot of blessings is what I'm getting. Lots of blessings because, you know, you've made the, the right choices and decisions for you. You stood and you knew your self-worth and value because the Empress doesn't, she's the one that knows her self-worth and value. She don't chase. All right, so you could be, it could be a he or she, gender is not assigned, okay? Um, another thing that I'm getting straight off the bat, all right, for some, for some, if you can, <laughs> you could possibly become pregnant, know somebody that's pregnant, or get somebody pregnant, all right? If it's not in regards to pregnant, this is about business. Your business is about to launch. Something that you've been wanting to do and you had a chance to do it before, but it wasn't the right opportunity or the time. Definitely with that eight of wands crowning it, this is a shift in energy, which means yes, you are about to go, 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 okay? So this was in regards to, again, four of cups. This was something that you really wanted. You've daydreamed about, you've manifested in a sense. Um, for others of you, I will tell you something else. Um, but this was like in, in regards to something that you wanted um, and you're working hard towards, okay? All right, so for the others of you with that Four of Cups, Judgment, Eight of Wands, Three of Pentacles, what I'm seeing here, um, there could have been an opportunity that there was like rejection or just a lackluster, could have been at work, could have been in regards to a relationship. 
I just feel like you're moving on. You're tired of the BS. You're tired of that lackluster. You're tired of, you know, just daydreaming, wandering what life is going to be like on the other side. And I feel like you're going to know intuitively, like you're going to think mentally, it's just going to come into you in the brain, all right, that, hey, Taurus, I deserve more. And there's that more times 10. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's clarify, guys. So we have the nine of clubs. I don't even have to look at the definition of this one. This is the sun card. All right. So straight up again, if you were trying to become pregnant, honey, you about to become pregnant. If you are pregnant, your water is about to break. Okay. Um, if this is not in regards to pregnancy, then you're just getting a lot of positive news. Like you, there, there's some type of positivity coming in. Answers are going to come to you. This is going to come internally, not externally. Because if it was going to come externally, I would have other signifiers. But I feel like you being grounded, you knowing your self-worth and value, you knowing what you deserve. And I feel like things are about to change for you and things are about to change quickly. I feel like for some of you guys, you may also be traveling. All right. So the next card we have is the King of Diamonds and diamonds are earth suits. So it could be in regards to financial stability, security, anything like that. But I will look at the definition inside my little handy dandy book. All right, so King of Diamonds, what do we have for King of Diamonds? King of Diamonds means generosity, um, happiness, found, in nature or spirituality awesome sauce so i feel like you guys are going to start feeling more like you you're going to start feeling the way you know within you it's kind of like it's kind of like this when you have a plant and it's been in a situ in a in an environment where it's not very healthy and the air quality is bad the water quality is bad but then you like replant it relocate it into its like natural environment and then what it flourishes so that's how i feel like you guys are about to become all right so for my advice for you guys is go back to nature take it back to what your roots and why do i say roots because she like this this picture here it takes a a, 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 a a tree all right bringing it back to the root all right so Let's go into some oracles. And guys, I want to thank my friend D from D's Earth Energy Readings for these lovely gift of some oracles for you guys. I'm actually here in her hometown, in her house right now, recording. So I will also leave her channel in the description box below. Check out my homegirl D. She is pretty epically awesome, all right? So, let's see how many come out for you, Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node Taurus, please. Four. Okay. <laughs> like a whop of them came out for you, Taurus. Alright. So, let's see what Taurus got. Taurus, you have Be Open to Love. All right, so be open to love. Once you become open to love and not closed off, then things can move forward, all right? It's kind of like when you're in a fence, like a bull, okay? If a bull's in a fence, it can't really go anywhere but within the fence. But when you open the fence and it's open green pastures, right? There's more to love, more nature, more adventures, all right? So the next card says reassess. So I feel like for you guys needing to reassess. They're pointing me to this card here. Reassess your emotions. 
what is it that you truly want all right you have these cups here and these cups to me mean like you know what's present all right but you're wanting something more so what is it that you're really wanting so they're saying reassess what is it that you really want all right know what it is that you want go for it all right and then what it says be decisive be decisive all right so it's like needing to decide okay this is where i want to go this is what i want to do and this is how i want to handle it all right because taurus you guys you guys like every taurus that i've ever met sun moon rising venus north node any chart placement that i've noticed they are very determined everybody says very stubborn yes they're stubborn because you guys are stubborn because you know what it is that you want all right but needing to reassess what is it that's really going to make you happy all right the next one says um begin to explore begin to explore So how do you know, Becky, how do I know what I want? Like, what's really going to make me happy? Well, you got to kind of play in it. It's kind of like, you know, you have these different kinds of quiches, maybe. I love quiche, guys. And I have a Taurus rising, um, or no, Taurus north node in my um, Vedic, all right? So it's kind of like having different kinds of quiches. You don't know which kind of quiche you want until you've tried at least one of the each, one each, two for good, you know, good measure. <laughs> All right, it says think things through. So think things through is saying don't act so quickly. Yes, you want things to get done. Yes, I can feel like there could be frustration. All right, Knight of, Wand, uh, Knight of, of Swords or Movement of Swords could be frustration as well. All right, so there could be frustrations about moving forward or even about traveling, relocating, all right, ending something so something else can begin. Um, but it's like saying, like, really reassess, revive. I feel like you guys are about to go through, I, I know we're about to hit Mercury retrograde, I just don't know when. So during that Mercury retrograde, Taurus, I feel like it is best for you to do your re-reads, reassess, reevaluate, reanalyze, think things through, all right? So that way it's like, boom, it's kind of like studying for that test. You know what it is, that the information that you need and to pass it, all right? So that is what I have for you. Thank you so much, Taurus, and I will see you guys next month. Namaste.